Hey guys, so I was going to go dress shopping today because I need to get a formal dress for a cruise we're going on later this month. And I was really excited to go do that today, but when I got up, it was just pouring rain. Big surprise, Portland rain. So, I decided instead I would get dressed up and I would have a cat show in my bedroom. So, I've been to a dog show before, but I've never been to a cat show, so I'm not really sure how this goes, but I think you just kind of show the cats, because they don't run around or do anything. Well, at least I don't think they do. Maybe other people's cats are more talented than mine? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm also not, you know, a long-time cat owner. My husband loves cats, so I got him a couple of cats. Um, of course, I had to pick them out, because I, I just think I have better taste in, in pets. So um, I decided that they had to be long-haired cats, because if I can't have a dog, I at least have to have something, you know, that I can brush and make pretty. So like my wigs. <laughs> um, anyway, so I got dressed up today, you know, like a cat showing person might. So I, I went to dark, dark clothes, Michael Kors jewelry, you know, some simple black pants you can't see, and oh, and my little uh, Michael Kors uh, charm mocks. I love these shoes in vanilla, you know, for running around and cat showing. So, anyways, put that back on. Our first cat is Franklin Ernesto Whopper. He goes by Frankie. Frankie, camera's over here, buddy. There we go. This is Frankie. He's a ragdoll, so like all ragdolls, they have blue eyes. He's a seal point, so his coloring, God, his coloring <laughs> is very similar to that of a seal. As you'll see, he's pointed at all parts, his ears, his face, his little hands, his feet, and his tail. He's very, um, not snuggly, so he's going to be the least likely to like this cat show. Frankie is, um, he's a little Houdini. He can get out in, look at how big this cat is. He's huge. Oh, I know Snufflebutt. Are you being tortured? Are you being tortured? He's not being tortured. Why are you looking like that? Like I'm torturing you. <laughs> Anyways, Franklin, Franklin does not like to snuggle or be held so much. He likes to be observed from afar. So we're going to let him go because you just don't like it, huh? Oh, no, you don't like it. Okay, bye. And this is Benjamin. Benjamin, on the other hand, is very used to being held because he is so cute and everybody wants to hold him. Say hi, Benjamin. Oh, yes. You're so cute. You're so cute. So, Benjamin is a blue bicolor ragdoll. Oh, you love mommy, huh? He's a blue bicolor ragdoll. He has gray coloring where um, Franklin had dark coloring. He um, is very playful. He's where Franklin's only four years old. Um, Benjamin is just one. You're just one now, I think. Yeah. So. Kisses? Kisses? Ouch! Don't bite mama. Anyways, ragdolls are not known for being snuggly, cuddly, holding cats. But they are a beautiful cat. As you can see, he has similar coloring to Franklin but in kind of an opposite look. His face has a little pyramid on it. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> Cat showing is exhausting. Especially if they don't like being shown. Huh. Hmm. So that was Benjamin. His name is just Benjamin. He doesn't have a middle or a last name yet. I think, I think we might have to think one like Benjamin Bentley Bunny. That's what I call him right now. I know when you don't like being held. Man, that was the worst cat show, right? Oh, I can't believe I spent so much time setting up for that. Hmm. Well, anyways, it was worth putting chandelier earrings on for a few minutes, huh? No. No, it wasn't. Seaweed.
That's actually pretty good. Oh yes, the cats were fabulous. I could watch cats all day. I think that's probably the worst pet show I've ever seen. Next time I'm going to do something like things that I own that are made out of fur that will hold still. Like this muff. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to wear you. Good boy! What are you doing? Benjamin, come on, Kiki. Oh yeah, it's done.